Okay, we're going to go install Manjaro. We've only got a couple seconds before we can pick. We have the choice between open source drivers or proprietary drivers. We're going to go ahead and just use the open source ones. We are booting to um, Manjaro from a USB drive at this point so that it's going to be a little slower initially until we get it up and running off our hard drive. But once we get... Uh, the full install done, it'll be uh, more than snappy enough for us. Manjaro is a version of Linux that I have not used before. I'm trying a new one for myself, and I wanted to try one that didn't look exactly like Microsoft Windows since all the students are used to using Windows. So we're going to all try something a little bit different together here today, and just so you know, my cameras off the left so okay here we go so it comes back up i this is the launch bar i don't want to see the launch bar all this time all the time so i'm going to turn that off and i'm going to hit launch installer and that's going to be to install it on the hard drive that we've got so yeah we're going to stick with american english and go next and new york is our time zone so next and u.s english is our keyboard so next we're going to do erase the disk. It'll delete everything that's currently on our disk. Uh, and we're not going to encrypt right now. So we're going to go ahead and say next. Now, uh, if I was actually installing this, I put in a real username and password. Um, right now, I'm just going to put user and I'm going to put password as my password. This password, the first one here is to get onto the machine. I don't use that password. I'm going to hit log on automatically. One of the great things about Linux is I want it to start and go as quick as I can. Now, the second password is to install stuff. And if you're going to have it log on automatically, you don't really want the install or the administrator password to be the same one because anybody could basically try to install stuff. It's still going to pop up and ask. However, we're going to go ahead and say use the same password so that we don't have to remember any passwords while we're doing a temporary system. You could put in your here, your actual name and your uh, school username like bpool or 25lpool. And your, I would recommend if you do that to put your school password there and the platform you may also want to put the name of or your username so we know that this is your computer. Right now, we're just going to use that for the example and hit next. It won't let you continue to install until you choose if you want Office and what kind of Office you want. You've got the choice of no Office Suite, Libre Office Suite, or free Office Suite. I'm used to using Libre, although free looks a lot like Office. Uh, it has a program text maker that looks like Word, plan maker that's Excel, and presentations that uh, works with PowerPoint. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and try free office. I haven't used that before. So let's try free office. Next it says I'm all done. Hit install. Are you sure you get one more chance because we're wiping our hard drive and now it's going to start the install session. And this is going to take a few minutes to wipe everything, to unpack it from the that file that we put on our flash drive and do the install. So I'm going to pause while it's doing the install, and then I'll be right back once we get to the point where it asks us to reboot our system. Okay, once we get here, you just click uh, restart now and done, and Manjaro will restart and we'll come back up to the full version off of your hard drive as opposed to the version that's running off of the flash drive. Okay, once Manjaro gets started up here all the way, we're going to see a couple things. Uh, number one, it doesn't have everything we want. We're going to add a couple things to it. We're going to take away a couple things too. I'm going to skip the tour, although you're more than welcome to watch that if you want to. I'm going to turn off the launch at start, and I'm going to close this. So this is what Manjaro looks like. It's default. Uh, browser is Firefox, which I'm going to right click on and unpin because I'm going to add Chrome. Uh, this is how we get to other apps. And this down here is the store or how we add apps. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And when it comes up, I'm going to go ahead and go up here to the search and I'm going to type Chromium. Uh, Chromium is the uh, version for Linux. I'm going to click the download. So there's Chromium web browser. I'm going to hit the download button here in green. 
and I'm going to hit apply. It's going to have a little pop up says, hey, here's some optional ones. Take the support for plasma. Choose. We're going to have one more pop up. It's going to ask if it wants this back in for multimedia. Yes, choose. And then we're going to go ahead and apply that. And this is when it asks for the administrative password to install stuff, which we made password. I'm going to hit authenticate. And now it's downloading and installing that into our version. Once it's done right here, it'll show that it's installed. We're going to go ahead and close that as soon as this is finished doing all the updates in the background. Okay, we're all done. So I'm going to close this down. I'm going to hit the little button here and I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to add this to my taskbar down here. So I'm going to right click on it and pin to dock. Now I've got it down there and that's going to be my uh, first thing that I'm going to have to use as I use stuff. And you guys are going to have time here that you can install any other software that you want to look for. I'm going to go ahead and configure Chromium uh, to work on the trail network so i'm going to go ahead and continue i'm not going to put a password on that and i'm not going to encrypt those so here's chromium it's not going to work all the way until we get the securely certification installed so the first thing i can do is i'm going to go to moodle dot national trail dot k12 dot oh dot us and hit enter and there's our national trail moodle site and i need this securely file right here and I'm going to right click on it and say save link as and it's going to download super quick. Uh, I'm going to leave it where it's going into downloads and it's already done. So now I'm going to install that. It's a certification file that allows us to get to the Internet. I'm going to now install that. And the way I'm going to install it is I'm going to go up here and I go to kind of scroll down to settings. And I'm going to install this certificate. So I'm going to type certificate. And you can see certificates are down in security. So I'm going to hit security. And I'm going to go down to where it says manage certificates. And I'm going to hit enter there. And I'm going to add a certificate authority. That's what that is. So I'm going to click on authorities and hit import. It's going to immediately go to this file we just downloaded. So I'm going to click on it and say select. It's going to say, how do you trust securely? I trust it to identify websites, users, and software. And then I'm going to say, OK. It's done. Now, if I open up a new one and I try to Google something, it's going to work. And there's National Trail Local School District. Uh, sure, I'll use precise location and allow it to know my location. That's up to you. And now everything works. Now I'm finished with my basic setup of Manjaro. The only thing I do have to do, I'm on a wired connection. You're gonna have to, and you will have already done it in order to get here, put in the password for the Manjaro network that I made here at Trail while we're doing this uh, little Linux experiment. At this point, uh, you already know how to use Chrome. You can go ahead and log into Chrome if you want to so that uh, you can log in and get your emails and all that stuff. Um, if you want to take a look at the different apps that are already here, if you look, there's a bunch of programs already installed for free with this version. Here's my office tools that I just uh, did. You can see there's my text. Plan is Excel. Presentation is PowerPoint. I've got that pre-installed for free. And if I want to add any other software, I can click on there and it's going to open up the software store and I can look it up by category. So I'm going to, hey, I want to see what games I can add. Uh, you can look at it for educational stuff if you want to. You could get the idea. So you can go and add whatever you want to. If it's already got this trash can, you'd be deleting it. And if it doesn't, if it's got the download, you would be adding it to your install. You are able to install whatever you want to to this to play with Linux and the things that you can get with Linux for free. All the games that are on here that you see down here are completely free that you can go and install into your Linux distribution uh, with nothing other than an internet connection. And you can see it keeps loading as I go down there. Um, and obviously, all these education, science, productivity, music, all these apps are available to you to download for free right through the Manjaro store, uh, although there's no cost for any of those. So if I wanted to get, for instance, let me see if Caden 
Live is available on there. There we go. This is the video editor I use, which is great. If I wanted to add that to this computer, I could just search for it, hit the download button, hit the apply button. It's just like it did before. It says, hey, here's optional things that you can do. Do I want uh, VR 360 effects? There's a whole list of things. I don't have to choose any of them to do the install. And it's going to go ahead and say, hey, we're going to do these things. You ready? Yes, apply. Again, I have to put in my password, authenticate it, and now it's going to go ahead and install Caden Live, my favorite video editor, onto this version of Majoro. That's it. We're done. Play with it all you want to. Get to use to a Linux and see what you think of it.